Hi guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm doing another BoxyCharm battle. This is the July battle. I, I, don't, I have no concept of time right now. <laughs> Okay, so if you are new here, welcome. My name is Sarah. I never say that. I do have a name. <laughs> in my BoxyCharm battle videos, what I'm doing here is I get two BoxyCharms per month. It's either the regular or the luxe, depending on the seasonal, quarterly, whatever, or the premium. So the regular offering is $25 a month-ish, depends on if you prepay, I prepay, so it's $25 a month, and the premium box is $35 a month. So the difference between the regular and the premium is that the premium is filled with premium <laughs> products. You get um, at least one more item, typically in a BoxyCharm you get five things, and in a premium offering you get one, two, three, four, five, six things. So like I said, the standard box is a $25 a month buy-in, and this month's total value, spoiler alert, is $144.95 for the product. So the first item in the box is by Clean Skin Club. This is the Vitamin C Brightening Booster. It retails for $49.95. Oh, fancy. It says it's a powerful mix of pineapple, watermelon, and green tea extracts to create the ultimate all-in-one serum. So I have been using this. I have about 800 serums. I'm, I'm like serum crazy anymore. Probably should do a video just about skincare stuff. As a lady of a certain age, vitamin C is very vital in my skincare. So I was very excited to see this. And I love that it has watermelon, green tea, and pineapple, all scents that I adore. I use this today. It definitely is playing very nicely with my makeup. No issues. The scent is nice, but it's not lingering. The serum has a very moisturizing, I don't want to say slimy, but it's like a thicker texture. But I like that and it's soaked in very nicely. So it's kind of difficult to give you a full review of skincare because it takes a little while for those things to really show their benefits. You know what I'm saying? But for now, I like it. Okay, the next item in the box is by Ciate London. This is the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Spray. It retails for $22. So it's a setting spray infused with coconut. I love the scent of coconut. It's super refreshing. It's hot as the damn sun around here. So it just makes you feel like you're on vacation even though we're all trapped in our houses still. The mister on this is very fine. I mean, it's a setting spray. The packaging is really nice, very luxe. I mean, it's plastic, but it feels good. There's a lot in there. And for $22, it's a good value. Ooh, it says that it has micro pearls to add a delicate glow. Well, I used it today. Pardon my swatches. Spoiler. <laughs> no, I used it today. My skin looks nice. It feels good. Hydrating. Everything's good. So far, it's <laughs> so good. The next item in the box is from Pure Cosmetics. This is the Pure Cosmetics Festival 2.0 eyeshadow palette that retails for $36. You're getting 12 pressed pigments that come with shimmers and matte. I've decided that I have all these colors, so I'm not gonna open this up. I'm gonna save this to rehome it to someone else who would love it and appreciate it. I'm just not gonna open it because I'm afraid that I'll open it, use it one time, and then it's gonna die a slow death in the makeup drawer, forgotten. You know, I just got the Raw Beauty Christie in Pure Collaboration and those shadows are pressed pigments and they perform very nicely. So this color story is nice. You're getting, it looks like a lot of browns and peachy. There is one color in there called Utopia that kind of caught my eye and I almost kept it just so I could try it, but I'm behaving myself and rehoming. You like the bubble wrap sound? Is it, no, is, it, is it noisy enough? Do I think that those shadows should be $36? I don't know. I'm not so sure about that part of this, but as far as the color story, it's nice. Next, we have the Cella Slanted Tip Tweezers that retail for $20. Yeah, they're tweezers. They're tweezers. I was actually very surprised to see this arrive in the box. Uh, I'm not opposed to getting tools in my BoxyCharm. I'm always happy to get brushes or any other kind of tool. So I don't know. I was just surprised to get a pair of tweezers. Would I pay $20 for a tweezer? Maybe not like a, maybe not like a standard tweezer. Everybody could use a pair of tweezers. They're the kind of thing that you keep in your desk, in your purse, in your car, in your bathroom, at your makeup station. They're tweezers. I have not had the opportunity to really test these, but do I need to? No, <laughs> they're tweezers. You guys, go on. Okay, and the last thing 
in the box. This is by Lavish. This is the Lavish Quick Color Switch Dry Brush Cleaner that retails for $17. This is a tool that everybody's seen before. It's like a, it's like that foamy material. It reminds me a lot of what those little bun makers are made out of. Do you know what I'm saying? Or like a stipple sponge around Halloween time. So the purpose of this is to help you switch the colors on your eye makeup brushes very quickly without having to wet them or use any kind of cleaner. So what you do is after dipping your brush into a color to make sure that it's all removed after applying on your eyes, you would just swirl it along on this little spongy sponge. It's gentle enough that it's not going to fray or damage your brushes, but it will help remove all of the pigment off you know, again, with no soap or cleaner. And then all you need to do is you can pick this thing out, rinse it, use a little bit of soap, make sure there's no other pigment in there, and you're good to go. I have a small one like this in my makeup kit uh, for freelance makeup, but I'm excited to have a larger one, so very happy. <laughs> the total buy-in was only $25, and the total value of all of the items inside of the BoxyCharm regular box is $144.95. I know that I'm not even going to use the eyeshadow palette, but that doesn't mean that it's not pretty, and that doesn't mean that it's not going to perform well. I just, I just don't need it, so I'm going to rehome it. The vitamin C serum, the setting spray, the tweezers, and the color switch. I like it. I think it's a really good box. So let's see how that stacks up to the premium box. Okay, I started talking about this box, the contents, before even really talking about the theme for the month is sunshine. I mean, it's summer. Groundbreaking. All right, so the buy-in for the premium monthly subscription is $35 a month, and I went ahead and added up all of the values of the items inside per the card, and it's $238.99. The first item, uh, I'm squinting. I'm squinting. The first item is by Morphe. This is the Morphe and Manny MUA Glam Palette that retails for $20. $20, how premium, oh my God. <laughs> so inside you're getting 12 wearable eyeshadow shades in matte and shimmer finishes and two shimmer highlights. The colors are pretty. There's a mirror inside the palette. I think Manny is a delightful little sprite. Steven, what are you doing in there? Uh, drugs. Is this, is this premium? This is not premium. Morphe is not a prestige premium brand. I'm sorry. They're just not. They're not. This thing is $20. BoxyCharm. I use these eyeshadows today. I use the colors Sophie, Zaya, Howell, and Aries. So originally, I was not planning on keeping this palette. And you know what? I probably will end up rehoming it because Morphe shadows aren't necessarily my favorite, and I have a lot of these colors already, but I had never seen this kind of color before. So you see on camera, it looks like, you know, like a nickel shade or whatever, but I'm wearing it today and it reflects blue and brown. Hang on, let me swatch it so you can see. Do you see that? It looks like a bruise. It's a brown color, but then it reflects blue. Yeah, it looks like a, it looks like a bruise. So I used that on my eyelid today and you can see it's shining blue and silver. So I just went in with, you know, really soft browns and just kind of built up a little bit of dimension deepness in the outer corner and underneath a little bit of smokiness. And then I just tapped that Aries color on the lid and I really like the way it looks. It's really pretty, but $20, you can't convince me it's premium. That ain't premium. It's not premium. That's not premium. Okay, so the next item. This is the Byro. Byro? 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 This is the Bitter Essence Toner that retails for $95. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's a premium price. Okay. This toner is packed with 33 different green vegetable extracts, including artichoke, broccoli, and basil that will hydrate and purify your skin, helping to smooth unwanted texture. Mega dose of antioxidants. I've been using this since the box arrived. I really, really enjoy it. I'm really kind of bad at remembering the, the toner step just because I never have cotton rounds. I always forget to buy them, but this formula, I decided, you know, let me just pour a little in my hand and, and treat it like a serum. And it kind of feels like a serum. It's not super duper liquidy. I mean, it's liquidy because it is a toner, but it didn't just like drip, you know, through my fingers. I'm able to, you know, do this number and then press it onto my skin. So I really like that a lot. 
It has a nice fresh scent. You can even kind of see in the bottle that it's it's maybe a little less liquidy, a little more gelish, a little more serum-y. So I really like that a lot. So will I use every drop of this? You bet your sweet ass I will. $95? Yeah. Okay, next, this is a brand I'd never heard of before. This is the Folly Fire Matte Manipulation Trio. This retails for $39.99. And what this is, is three bullet lipsticks. I'm wearing one of the shades today. It says they're matte. They're not, they're not matte at all. This is more of like a cream shine. I don't wanna say it's sheer. I don't think it's sheer. Here's the colors swatched on my hands. Originally, I, I did not think that this deepest shade was gonna be for me. See, it looks a little raisinish, but it's a little bit more berry tone. Super comfortable. It just feels like lip balm and it's not in my teeth. Ha ha ha. So originally the color that I put on was Sunset Boulevard. You know, I'm like a moth to the flame when it comes to a dusty rose. But when I put it on, it was kind of boring, especially with this look. So I went a little bit deeper because you know, I'm branching out, I'm expanding. I'm also expanding. It's a different conversation. It's pretty and it's nice and I think I'll actually get some use out of these lipsticks because they're just so easy to wear. I'm not using any lip liner either and I'm not getting any feathering or messy Kool-Aid smile. So I'm into it. Okay, the next item in the box is from Laura Geller. This is the Laura Geller Line and Define Dual Dimension Eyeliner. This retails for $24. It's a double-sided situation. So one side <laughs> is a felt tip black liquid eyeliner and this side is more of a crayon. Does it call it a coal liner? Yeah, it says it's a coal liner and the color is slate. Can you see it's like a it's like a gray. So I have the color slate in my wet line. It goes on very nicely. It's very soft but also very smoky, so I'm into that. And then I did use the liquid liner on top just for a little extra definition, and it's not good. It doesn't have any staying power at all. So I don't know if it's just me or what, but I put it on and then by the time I was putting mascara on, I couldn't even see it anymore. It was like rubbed off in places and it just it had left me, left me. And for $24, $24 isn't a super high price point for something that is double purposed, but I don't know that I would pay $24 for this coal liner. The coal liner is a pretty color and it went on very nicely, but is it staying? I don't know. I can't tell. I just put it on. So I don't, I don't love this. So not, not doing well. Okay. The next item is by a brand I'd never seen before. This isn't, this is in a Spanish. I don't speak Spanish. I just want to hear her say her name. It's a lady. She has a YouTube channel. I did not know about this. Does anybody know who this is? Is it Ken? Is it Kenia? Shit guys. It is going to be on the Kenya Ontiveros lippies. So I have them all Kenya right here. Kenya Ontiveros. Now I know how to say her name. Kenya. Kenya Ontiveros. Ontiveros. One eternity later. Okay, so next in the box is this Kenya Ontiveros Beauty Set and Define Kit for $42. What you get in this kit are six pans of pressed powders. You're getting a contour, dark contour, bronzer, which has some shimmer in it, and then a mattify, a set, and a highlight that also has some shimmer in it. That, honestly, the color highlight in that kit and the pinker one here, Nova, in the Morphe set, they look exactly the same. Okay, well, I'm so pale that you can't freaking see the difference, but... You can't even see the highlighter on me actually. So this highlight shade here is very, very, very similar to one of the highlight shades in the Morphe palette. I just tried to swatch it on my hand, but I'm so pale that you can't even see it on me. But I used it today. The highlight is actually really nice. It's gold with a tiny bit of a pink shift, mostly gold, but it's nice. It's pretty, it's on my nose, it's on the bridge of my nose. So I used this palette today. Um, I definitely dipped into the contour shade. I used a natural fiber brush to apply and then I even went over to blend it with like a synthetic fiber brush. I don't, I don't like this. So these contours are very, very, very warm. So I'm putting it on and it's, it looks like a bronzer on me. It's very orangey, very warm. And to be honest, I didn't love the blend on these. I've been using, I've been using these since this box arrived about a week ago. 
just to, you know, have a better understanding of the products or how they perform. I, j I just don't love it. It looks muddy. It looks not not great. I like to contour around my hairline a, a little bit and then un up under my cheekbone and I'm getting color, but it's the wrong color, I think for me. These they just seem like bronzers to me because of the tones. The Mattify powder doesn't really do much. Um, I've been using it actually on my eyelids to set my eyelids before I put shadow on to make sure it's got that nice soft base. The highlight's pretty, I don't know. I just, I'd never heard of this brand before. I love to support creators that <laughs> end up coming up with their own brands and um, Kenya is a creator here on YouTube. The packaging is pretty, it feels like a nice luxe product. The price point is definitely pretty luxe. It says it's cruelty free and vegan, which is always a plus. I'm just not so sure about the performance as it relates to my skin tone. I think for me, I need my contours to be a little cooler. So. Okay, and the last item in the box is this Cuccio Natural Milk and Honey Cuticle Reviving Oil. This retails for $18. This is huge. Two and a half fluid ounces, 75 mils. It's gonna take my entire life to get through this. I love cuticle oil. I love it so much. I keep bottles of it everywhere. Typically the bottles are really small. So if I have a minute while I'm waiting for something to load or I'm on a phone call or something, I just really quickly dab a little bit of cuticle oil on my fingers, rub it in there, keep my cuticles healthy and my fingers nice and hydrated. Nothing is worse than those little slivers of skin, the little hangnails that start peeling back this stuff really helps. The scent in this, it says milk and honey. Yeah, I definitely get that. Um, it smells a little fake, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not like a real honey scent. I wouldn't compare this to like pharmacy where it's definitely formulated with honey. I do love cuticle oil and I'm happy about this so I can probably just refill my smaller containers, just keep them everywhere, so. All right, going back through the box, we have the Morphe Manny MUA palette. $20. That ain't premium. Sorry about it. Sorry, it's not. We have the toner that I love, the lipsticks that I surprisingly love, the Laura Geller eyeliner that I'm like, mm, eh. the Kenya Set and Define kit, not my favorite, and the cuticle oil. So all those things added up to $238.99 and I paid $35. I like the lipsticks. I like the toner. I like the cuticle oil. The regular box versus the premium box. Which one is the winner this month? We're gonna go with the standard box. The standard box, I'm sorry, kick the shit out of this other box. <laughs> so why am I still getting both boxes? <laughs> if there's clearly a winner every month? Well, we're, we're already more than halfway through the month. Year, oh my God, I have no concept of time. Well, you know, we're more than halfway through the year and I might as well just do a full year, right? Right, I'm committed. I'm committed. I don't have anything else going on. So what did you guys get in your BoxyCharm boxes this month? Did you get some of the same items from either box? Were some of my premium items in your regular box and vice versa? That's always fun to find out. Tricky tricks. All of the products that I talked about in today's video will be listed down below with links and coupons if there are any. And if you don't know how to subscribe to BoxyCharm and you're interested, there will be a link down below for you as well. Anyways, I would love to hear from you down in the comments below, but in the meantime, Thank you. Thank you for hanging out. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos like this one, then consider subscribing before you leave today. I upload new videos here on YouTube every Thursday. Sometimes I surprise you guys with other videos. Sorry that I didn't let you know. I'm sure some people were like, what? Wait a minute. Is it Thursday? How is it? How What's is it happening? Is it? But sometimes I do like to surprise you guys with some extra content. So keep your eyes peeled and make sure that you are um, getting notifications. Hit the little bell down below and you will get notifications sent to your device of choice to let you know when videos are uploaded. So I come to you. You don't have to worry about coming to me. That is it for now. I will catch you next week in next week's video. Bye. That can't be right. Let me do that math again. Hang on a second. Come on. Come on, focus. Very dramatic, very dramatic, very dramatic. Get your life together. How I how. cannot talk today. <laughs> Is there a crew tram coming? Maybe. <laughs>